Is Trump lawyer Alina Haba on her way out? Perhaps. Following his $83.3 million loss in the most recent defamation lawsuit, former President Donald Trump announced that he was looking for new legal help. Hmm. Taking to truth, truth central. He wrote, I am in the process, along with my team, of interviewing various law firms to represent me in an appeal of one of the most ridiculous and unfair witch hunts in our country has ever seen. The defamation scam presided over by a Clinton-appointed, highly partisan, Trump-hating judge, Lewis Kaplan. He, of course, went after the judge uh, and ended this rant by saying, Any lawyer who takes a Trump case is either crazy or true American patriot. I will make my decision soon. Wait, you will make your decision on whether they're crazy or a true American patriot? Or, <laughs> no, of course, uh, it's, you know, what uh, lawyer or law firm he's going to go with uh, to file his appeal. Uh, but getting back to the crazy or American patriot, which one's Haba? Hmm. I mean, that's the question, right? Now, does this mean, though, that she's out? Again, let's examine this, right, by looking at how she did during the trial. Obviously, she lost, though I don't really think that there's a lawyer in the world that could win that, <laughs> okay? You can't even use the Ewok Endor defense, okay? That's not going to work, <laughs> okay? Um, I know, big, way, way, uh, you know, early throwback. Um, anyway, last Friday, Haba claimed that the court itself had a conflict of interest as well as having engaged in an ethics violation uh, and linked the story from the New York Post. Yes that New York Post, uh, which alleged that Judge Lewis Kaplan and Carroll's attorney, Roberta Kaplan, where there's no relation at all, had actually worked together in the 1990s at a large law firm. An unidentified source of the firm alleged Lewis Kaplan was like Roberta's mentor. Mm. She went uh, so far as to telling the New York Post that it was insane and so incestuous, and if true, it would be part of Donald Trump's appeal. Mm. Uh, both Judge and Roberta Kaplan called these uh, allegations utterly baseless, though acknowledging that they had worked for the same law firm between 1992 to 94. However, Roberta said that she could not remember having any interactions with Lewis Kaplan at all during their overlap in their careers. So, if anything, she's trying to do a guilt by association, like, aha, you two were at the same place at some point in time, ha <laughs> And... Uh, are, are you trying to say that in the 1990s, the Kaplans had gotten together and hatched this plan to get Trump 30 years in the future? Uh, I wouldn't put it past them, okay? Um, look, Roberta ended her uh, letter by suggesting that she would not let the matter uh, end with a denial and might even seek legal sanctions against Haba. Uh, from the very start of the recently concluded trial, Donald Trump and Ms. Haba have pushed a false narrative of judicial bias so that they could characterize any jury verdict against Trump as a product of a corrupt system. While that strategy has now moved into its post-verdict phase, it is now time for defendants' false and vexatious claims of bias or impropriety to stop. Haba responded to that in another statement claiming, I was just asking questions. The purpose of the letter was simply to inquire as to whether there was any merit to a recently published New York Post story, which reported on the alleged existence of such a relationship. Since Ms. Kaplan has now denied that there was ever a mentor-mentee relationship between herself and Your Honor, this issue has seemingly been resolved. Now look, that was a Hail Mary, last ditch effort to try to get this case dismissed based on a story in a tabloid rag. That's what the New York Post is. Uh, and of course it failed, just like everything Haba has tried. But does this mean she's getting fired? I, I, again, that's the ultimate question here. Well, not according to her. She says she's still working for Trump, but that they're looking for an appellate firm which specializes handing, handling cases on appeal. So they are appealing that $83.3 million decision. So as far as I can tell, she ain't fired yet. At the same time, though, I, I know a lot of you are thinking, because I'm having the thought myself, of how absolutely hilarious it would be if Alina Haba found out that she was fired from a post on True Social. Uh, being fired by True Social, mm, nobody is ever going to be able to live that one down.